Hello everyone, we are glad to have you back. When Frances Neagley first appears in the Reacher TV series on Amazon, she seems distant from people due to her aversion to physical contact. But there's more to her behavior than meets the eye. Neagley is introduced in sequences when she is shown to be equally as formidable in combat. As Reacher, although lacking Alan Richson's 6'5 frame, there is no doubt that Reacher and Neagley have a past. But for viewers who are not acquainted with the books, a lot is left out of the series. Neagley and Jack Reacher can come across as distant or businesslike from their interactions with one another, particularly in Season 1. Other scenes, meanwhile, make it seem that the two get along well and enjoy making jokes about one another. As a matter of fact, their treatment of one another serves to further define their connection and demonstrates the depth and wisdom of their friendship. Neagley is described as having half a phobia in Lee Child's works, which is a rare disorder characterized by a dread of touching or being touched by people. The semi-ritualistic aspect of their wave in season one indicates that the two had cultivated this farewell technique throughout their years of close friendship in order to express affection without setting off her half a phobia. Although Lee Child's first Jack Reacher novel, Killing Floor, served as the inspiration for Reacher season one. Neagley is not mentioned in the book and isn't introduced as a character until without fail, the sixth installment in the series. The NSA senior deputy Marion Sinclair brings up Neagley's halfophobia in the prequel novel Night School, which takes place a year before the events of Killing Floor. The novels are more specific about this subject. Reacher tells Sinclair that their connection is platonic and adds that Neagley has halfophobia in response to his suggestion that she wants to sleep with him. When Sinclair questions whether trauma was the cause, Reacher cuts him off again, telling him that she believes the condition was innate. It might seem like a strange decision on the part of the showrunners to introduce Neagley so much earlier in the Reacher TV series than she does in Lee Child's novel, but she's the ideal method to bring the series together because of her job and bond with Reacher, since Reacher is frequently one of the few dependable characters in the books. Viewers may become tense if they don't anticipate seeing Roscoe and Finlay make a reappearance in Reacher Season 2. Neagley may easily appear in every season of Reacher since she was established as someone he can rely on no matter where he is in the United States. She also provides a crucial representation of a platonic connection between a man and a woman. In the second season of Reacher, Carla Dixon also becomes intrigued by Neagley and finds it difficult to comprehend why Reacher has such a great deal of faith in her. Neagley says their platonic friendship and respect for one another's boundaries are the reasons they are close. Neagley does not criticize Reacher's lifestyle choices and only contacts him in an emergency. Even though Reacher is aware that Neagley dislikes being touched and has other limits that he should never violate, whether Neagley is asexual is not made clear in Amazon's Reacher. Reacher Season 2, Episode 1 appears to make a clue about it, though. Neagley begins making fun of Reacher with Carla Dixon, a former teammate, as they talk about their personal and professional lives. He says it would have been improper and denies having slept with her when she asks. Neagley continues to make fun of him by claiming that he thought she was pretty. Reacher asks, who wouldn't, to her. In response, Neagley says she wouldn't. She goes on to say that she doesn't think anyone is attractive, which appears to support her asexuality as shown in the Reacher season 2 episode. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget